Hey YouTube, this is Tech Savvy Solution here, and I'm at part two of my how to theme your iPhone 4 video. So I'm going to be continuing going through the bundles because there are a lot of stuff that you can theme here. So for example, if you want to go to the media player bundle, you'll see a lot of different images for your media player. And your media player is your, your um, iPod application on your iPhone. So as you can see, those um, icons match that over here. So if we go to up and go back to bundles, there's another set of um, UI images in a different bundle called mobile iPod. And the no art placeholder looks something like this, no cover in my case. And default is always going to be the loading screen. For mobile phone, you have some options as well. You have the keypad, the dialer keypad that you can edit. So if I go to my phone application on my iPhone, go to my keypad and then it looks like the keypad over here if I go to mobile safari then you have some images over here too so the images on the bottom bar over here match that of the images of on the theme itself. And the nav forward is to go forward a page, nav back, back a page, and all these images with the numbers inside of them are showing how many Safari tabs that you have open. And the URL progress is the loading bar. When you're loading a page and you're looking at the progress, that's what it is. Mobile timer may look a bit weird, but that's your clock application. Preferences is your settings app. And springboard, we looked at earlier, the battery. Your telephone UI, you'll have some options for your sliders. These are the main UI images that you might see. So the blue one is your, the bottom bar, uh, it's going to be your no, or it's going to be your, well, your lock screen slider, that's going to be your call slider, your end or your power shutdown slider. And then you can also go to weather, and the weather, day and night background or when you go to the weather application on your iPhone and I'm in Chicago so right now it's daytime and it'll match the background of weather day background BKG and if it's nighttime then it'll change to this background but of course default and icon default is your loading screen an icon is what your icon on your springboard will look like. If you go to lock info, you can change the section header, what it will look like. So in this case, it matches that over here. And then theme will let you edit. If you go to iFile and go to the, pre the preferences editor, then you can change some of the, I believe, the font colors. And then these are some random applications that you can edit files for, for like Cydia. It's usually just the default and the icon.png. So if we navigate upwards, then we can go to the folders folder 
of the theme. And it's really similar to bundles, except it's, I think of it as like a simpler version of bundles. It usually only has the icon and the loading screen. For like Google, I just have the icon. And if you happen to have a different icon in the bundles app, but if you have a, and a different icon in the folders app for the same application, then the icon in the bundles app is going to override the icon in the folders app. Just letting you know. Let's see, terminal is just the icon. If we navigate upwards. For the, if you notice, for the iPhone 4 themes, like the HD themes, they always have the folders with an icon inside it. And that's different from theming on the iPhone 3GS and 3G because they have a separate folder called icons. And they just have all the icons in that folder, but they didn't have to worry about the retina display stuff and how like you have to rename it to at 2x. For some reason, um, and themes that I download from City I always have their app icons in the folders or bundles app. But you can still do the same. You can still theme the same way that you did with the iPhone 3GS in terms of theming the icons by placing your icons in this folder too. Like I have all programs for the um, categories folder that I have here. It's all programs. So I theme that icon by putting it into an icons folder. But I believe that if you have icons in the bundles and the folders folder, it's going to override the icon in the icons folder. Just keep that in mind. UI images, you have a lot to play with and a lot to theme if you want. The black Wi-Fi bars are obviously Wi-Fi bars and the black and silver um, battery images is the battery image in your status bar and the progress gear is when you're loading something and you see that little the apple circle loading that's a progress gear and I've changed it to um, one by after hours HD We scroll down. Some other important ones is the UI button bar contact. So if you're adding a contact, then that's what it's going to look like. And then the UI button bar press indicator is like if I go to like some word settings, for example, and I press like brightness, or if I press fast notes. Um, let me see if I can, if I go to dock, did you see that blue thing? That's what it is. Oops. It's the button press indicator. And these are just a whole slew of um, like theme files you can edit. Navigation bar themes are for the navigation bar icons, or if you like go to settings or something, and you have if you want to go back to settings, that um, that icon is gonna look like one of these navigation bar icons. And if you press it, press and hold, see the highlight, the blue highlight is going to look like the blues over here. And then the scrubbers are going to be, um, you'll notice that like some of them are at 2x and some of them are just regular. And they're different images. 
So for iPhone 4, it's gonna, the at 2x image is gonna override that of this one, of the regular scrubber knob. So keep that in mind. But what the scrubber knob is, is again, let's go to some board settings. We wanna adjust the brightness. This knob over here is gonna be the scrubber knob. And then these are just some more advanced uh, like files that you can edit. But usually just, like, I don't pay attention to them when I'm just like mixing and matching them. Just go with the default ones that the theme comes with. And these files are when you have, like if you go on the YouTube app and you have, or the app store and you have that bar on the bottom, each one of these is going to look like the image over here in the theme file and the UI red indicator is if you're in a mail application and you have a new email then or unread indicator I mean then the unread email is gonna have that little indicator by it saying that it's unread and that's UI images UI sounds is something I always like to play with because it will if you like unlock your phone or lock it you'll see you'll hear that sound and you can customize it to make your phone sound cooler I guess. Or like camera. Yeah, it'll have cool sounds like that. So that's pretty much all you need to know for the file locations. I'm also going to post a link of the file locations for all files, um, for all like UI images that you can edit. I downloaded this from maxcity.com and it'll show you all the files that you can customize yourself if you wanted to. All the UI images that you can theme if you're interested. So that's pretty much it. If you have any more questions, comments, or requests, then please comment in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later in the next video review or tutorial.